And then a friend of mine came and said that I should come over here because there's a big comedy scene booming. And uh, it turns out that my wife is British. <laughs> I took a toke and the guzzle, now I'm ready to go. I uh -huh. think my brain's feeling fuzzy from the chemicals. British really, truly appreciate stand-up as an art form. Um, Britain is, it's where it's at. It really is. Villages and neighborhoods, and they all have their sort of neighborhood pubs where they do comedy. And it's great to go there and try stuff out. And that, that's the great thing about London, is that you can literally work every night of the week if you want to. People helping people. And, and for comedy, that's like, you know, you just can't beat the, the fraternity of the comedians in the UK. And, you know, we're sort of feeling each other out. And during conversation, I mentioned that I had this fear of Spanish women. And he laughed and he said, that's good. You should do that on stage. It's actually funner than stuff that you actually do on stage. I, I just got over this, but I used to have a really huge fear of Hispanic women. London is like the center point to this whole international comedy uh, scene. And all that, and I, I suppose my comedy works pretty good here because as a Canadian, where I'm from, I was always influenced by Monty Python. It is uh, Bill Bailey. Little Britain. The BBC is British, funded by the British people. They see British talent on it. Fair enough. But I've got a British passport. So I'm as British as you. <laughs> Great centre and melting pot of ideas. And, it, and that's what keeps it going. So, you know, the more the merrier, really. You come in with a brilliant idea from far away, we'll listen, I hope. And, you know, it's no surprise in a way that, say, the, the Perrier Stroke Gift Comedy Awards, more often than not, are won by a foreign act. Well, most of my work is facetious. Um, British people will then explain the joke to me. I'm from uh, Canada, but I live in Britain, and I count myself British now. I think I'm British, and the only thing I don't like about Britain is other people from far away <laughs> live in Britain. You know, then again, maybe if I'm over here and I do really well over here, maybe in New Zealand they'll take notice and give me something back there. The more popular you get over here, for some reason, the more popular you get from where you came from, because they, it's sort of like, they can't believe you escaped. I mean, I think British stand-up would be much the worse if there were no, if there had not been an influx of foreign uh, stand-ups. It's Monday. Let's get it on! Okay? Alright. Rock it!